Hey, Bart Miller here from Cycling Strong. So we got asked the question, um, I'm a new cyclist and I want to ride a Sentry and I want to do it in a month. Okay, there's a lot of challenges that you got to think about here. First of all, what kind of shape are you already in and what have you already done? So if you're a runner already or you've got a background of endurance, then you know, you need to know that and you need to understand what your limits are. So my son, Kobe, at 13, I can't remember if he was 12 or 13, decided that he was gonna do the exact same thing. He was gonna ride his first century. So for him, what I did is I found a pretty good hill, which is called Kelly Canyon. If you wanna look at Kelly Canyon, go to Idaho and go to Jefferson County and then Google Kelly Canyon. You'll find that, you'll see the grade on it. Now that hill has, it's, uh, it would at that point in time probably take him 35 to 40 minutes to climb this hill. Uh, today, if you go look at his Strava time, you'll see that he has the king of the mountain. He could do it super fast. But back then, it wasn't about speed, but the grades on that, they go up, then it levels a little bit, then it goes up and it's super steep levels. And it kind of has, uh, it's kind of an interval hill, which is really good for what you need to do if you're gonna ride a century. So I would take him and I'd get him on that hill. And a lot of people would say, well, man, you're working his guts out. And you're right, it was. It was really tough on him but it built his muscles that he understood that fatigue and that grind and what it was taking out of his body to get to the top. He also understood how to learn to control his bike because when he was coming back down that hill, he had to learn speed, braking, all those things that you need to learn in a short time period. And then I would take him on a group ride once a week. And uh, that group ride was about 30 miles to 40 miles. And then before the, uh, the century, I took him out on a really hard 40 miler and really, really taxed him. Uh, two weeks into it, I, that was at the end of the very end of the tell of two weeks and just really see where his body was at at that point in time. And he was okay. So when he did his first century, he did really well. And about his last 20 miles, I think was when he really started to feel the fatigue. And at that point, he just had to understand, just like he was riding that Kelly Canyon, that's what's happening to him. This is how I deal with it. And he paced himself through it, did an amazing job, and he finished his first century in a one month time period. So you can do it, just remember to take it in stages. Break it down, what works for you. So Kelly Canyon, uh, riding that, like I said, he was putting in 45 minutes a day on the bike, minimal, and then he was extending out on the weekends to an hour and a half to two hour ride. And then on the longer rides at that 40 mile ride, you know, he was out on the bike for, you know, four hours, you know, learning those kind of things and putting those hours in. And then the day of the, the event, he was probably out there for six and a half hours. I don't remember the exact time, maybe, maybe even pushing seven, but you gotta be ready for that big day, knowing that it's not about speed, it's about accomplishing your first century. And then, then talk nutrition, talk all that kind of stuff. But but those are the things that we did. I hope that helps you. I'm sure you're gonna have a ton of questions. Make sure you comment below and maybe I'll do another video to address some other stuff. We'll talk to you soon. Keep cycling strong.